What's up everybody, my name is Sean, welcome to my tech channel. Today we are checking out this retro pixel art portable speaker by Devoom called D2. If this is the first time you're stopping by and you like content like this, you may wanna hit that subscribe button. And by the way, when you turn on the bell notification, make sure change that to all because that's the only way you'll be notified for all my videos. Let's get to it. This is probably one of the most unique Bluetooth speakers I have ever reviewed. So let's try to dig in so we know exactly what does this thing do and who is this for. Hey Magic Ball, will I one day be a famous YouTuber? Hey Magic Ball, does anyone even care about my videos? <laughs> hey Magic Ball, Will I hit 20,000 subscribers in 2021? So 16 million RGB color display, smart alarm plus sleep aid, social media notification, daily tools, DJ mixer, companion mobile application, and this thing has a 3000 milliamp battery which should give you about eight hours of playtime. The unboxing experience is simple, but yet very unique. So this is the actual bag you get inside the box when it gets shipped to you. And in that, you will go ahead to take out this kind of like a retro fridge looking box. And when you open it up, you have the D2 speaker in there and as well as um, uh, owner's manual and a USB cable and a few really cool pixel art stickers. So this thing retails for I think about 120 bucks, but you almost never have to pay that price for this. Right now, this thing is on Amazon for about 100 bucks, but on their own website, which I will have a link down in the description below, I think you can get them for about $80. But uh, we're gonna do a speaker test. We're gonna check out all the features that this thing offers, but let's try to take a look around. So this is, as you can see, a retro looking monitor and keyboard. It has actual mechanical uh, keys on this thing. Listen to this. This is really, really cool. Uh, the speaker is at the top of uh, the monitor, so it doesn't matter which way you uh, facing this, uh, this speaker, you're still gonna get a very full volume and loud volume out of this thing. They have this port design in the back. They claim that this is a very unique design to be able to port the bass out of the speaker so that way you can get the maximum bass out of the size of the speaker. When we do a speaker test, you will see, I'm gonna put this up against a Tribit Micro, which is one of my favorite portable Bluetooth speakers at $50. And you will see this thing can really handle itself very, very well. This also have a micro SD card at the side, so if you just want to put some music and then slide that in and you can play your music that way. You do get a lot of functionality out of this thing without its app, but this thing really shines when you download the app and use the app with that. To turn it on, you just push and hold this button. So M is for menu and you can toggle through different menu options and then you will use the arrow keys to go through different menus and then you use this lever that you have here kind of like as the enter button. Uh, the plus and minus, that's your volume button. So let's try to review the app. We have a lot to cover here. So starting with the discover tab, you can actually um, have your own drawing and as you draw here, you will see that real time your drawing will come to life on um, on the screen itself. So I am not an artist, so I have no idea what I'm drawing, 
but I just wanted to show what's going on. Now there is a cool feature. You can actually take picture of a product and we'll try to turn that into a pixel art. Wow, this is so cool. This is really cool. This is this image right here. Isn't that something? Anyway, it's very impressive. So I got to play around with that a little bit more. We have the animation tab. So here's where you can create your own animation going frame by frame. And you have pixel coloring. So you will basically grab an image and start uh, coloring the picture. Uh, DJ mixer. Uh, this is actually, I honestly thought this is very gimmicky. Uh, I didn't find the loops working too well. The alarm actually works pretty cool. So you set an alarm and you go ahead, select from different scenes, uh, music, custom message, ocean waves, forest, energetic, uh, piano, uh, digital alarm, and so on and so forth. And uh, once that time hits, then the screen uh, will start playing that animation and the, uh, the audio starts uh, gradually come up and then uh, until you hit this lever to uh, turn the alarm off. Uh, the planner, I thought that's a little bit gimmicky. You go ahead, give a different animation for different things you want to do throughout the day. The games are kind of like cool. So it comes with uh, a few different games. You can do dice, um, magic, eight ball. And uh, what is it? Flappy Bird, Flippy Bird, Flappy Bird, something. You got a race car. And uh, so I thought the games actually are not that bad. And if you hit more, you even have more stuff you can do here. So you can have like a text editor, have different uh, effects. And then uh, you can do music. And here you have different radio stations. Honestly, I'm not sure if anybody would use that. If I'm going to play music, I'm probably going to play something off of Apple Music or Spotify. Um, you have a noise meter, which is um, which I think is pretty cool. You can have a stopwatch. You can have a scoreboard. And you can have a countdown. So these are just some of the features under the Discover tab. Now, when you come to channel, this is where you have uh, basically all and most of the graphics here. So the first one is the, the clock. You can have the clock display in different manners. Lighting is if you just want to have a static light to display. Now the cloud channel, this is my favorite one. So basically all the hot channel would push the monthly top design in um, uh, to the screen so automatically I, uh, I constantly have some fresh new designs and this is the part that is very interesting to watch and fairly mesmerizing because you want to see what other people are designing in the community so uh, that has been so far my favorite channel the visualizer is um, if you play any music uh, like similar to what I had in the beginning any kind of like audio you can have these react to the audio that is playing and custom is you can actually set up uh, different animations, which there are a ton of different animations for you to choose from. And then when you come to this middle tab right here, uh, you can actually in the Galleria, you can do a search for any kind of different artwork you can imagine. So you can say, I don't know, um, Superman. There you go. So there are a ton of different uh, logos for uh, or animation for Superman. And you can have so much fun this thing. What's nice is, like I said, the community is so big. Uh, you can go ahead and get a lot out of uh, the different uploads that um, some of the fellow uh, artists have online. So this kind of like concludes all the features. Now, out of everything, the voice memo, um, uh, the DB meter, some of those are a little bit gimmicky features, to be honest with you. But my favorite features are the design, creating the animation and the alarm and some of the games and the text editor. So those have to be probably some of my favorite features as well as um, the visualizer. Um, so when you're playing uh, a music, you can kind of like have that wave, waveform display on the screen. So this was it guys. Like I said, this is a very, very unique speaker. Let me know what do you think. It's one of those things you put it in a category that almost nobody needs one, but everybody would really like to buy one and should get one. 
it looks really cool. This actually in person is a little bit bigger than what you see in the pictures. It has a bit of a weight to it, 1.1 uh, pounds, and that's because of some of the uh, speaker components. It has, I think, a 44 or 45 millimeter um, um, driver uh, inside this thing. So it comes in different colors. Um, the black, this is shiny and it's a fingerprint magnet and the black, it instantly uh, shows some of the fingerprints. So if you get it, don't get the black one, even though once it's clean, it looks really, really cool. Uh, the speaker for its price, it's very impressive, but it's really the, uh, the artwork that you can get out of this thing. And uh, if you want to go ahead, create your own animation, you can spend hours and hours in this uh, app to try to create uh, different animations and messages and things like that. If you're in the market to try to get one, uh, definitely uh, it's worth spending maybe 10 or 20 bucks more and consider getting this one because of everything else that you will get with it. Let me know what do you guys think. If you have uh, had any of the Devoom products in the past, they got a lot of cool different uh, options that have backpacks and larger screens uh, with different um, artwork that you can uh, put on those devices. So let me know if you've had any of the products. What do you think? What do you think about this one? As always, I'm looking to try to get some feedback from you guys so I can continue to improve my content and my video reviews. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Step to my throne. They ain't working like me. I did this on my own. You ask him where we been? I don't know where to begin. All this dirt on my skin. I just came here to win.